ladies and gentlemen, as we gaze upon the llamas grazing peacefully below. <laughs> yeah guys, today we are back to exploring. So, today we will be exploring this new map. Yay! <laughs> so we got a new map to explore today and uh, we actually need to head off in that direction. So, I started off a little bit uh, in the wrong place, but uh, this was just where I ended up to make this map. So, yeah, we need to head down that way. So, uh, if I can back up a bit, or maybe not. Okay, let's do this. Jump and glide. Alrighty. So this is a very interesting terrain as we start off here with the lava coming down the mountain. That's what Minecraft needs. I think it needs volcanoes in the world spawning naturally. That would be, just be so awesome. Like, there's proper mountains and volcanoes. Those are the two things. Like, we got extreme hills, but they're not proper mountains. Like, they don't look like mountains, they don't act like mountains, we need mountains, and we need volcanoes, so like maybe it could be the hilly update, <laughs> or something, but we really need like terrain features like that, that would be awesome, imagine like you're flying by and there's this volcano, and you could have like a dungeon hidden away in it or something, ah, oh, it would be so cool, maybe that's where you can find like a natural portal to the nether, in like the heart of the volcano after you go through this dangerous dungeon, there's a portal to the nether just there, that would be amazing, I want to make a mod now, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that's just an idea that that's just came came to me as I was talking now. What do you guys think? You guys think that, I, I think I think that would be pretty cool. Um, maybe mountains could like also be similar to that. Like at the top of the mountain, there's a portal that leads to a new dimension, the sky dimension, where it's like a sky island sort of thing, and there's like uh, cloud blocks and stuff that you can get from it. That would be awesome. Like uh, I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, if any of you guys were aware of this at the time, there was a thing that used to be called the Aether Dimension, and that thing looked amazing. I never ever got it to work though for some reason. Whenever I tried to install the mods for it, it just wouldn't work on my computer at the time. So I never ever got to try it out, but from the videos I saw of it, it was pretty amazing. Those videos should still be there if you guys want to check it out and see all about that strange dimension. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that is the talk of that indeed <laughs> so today our subject is going to be music now I am not a very knowledgeable person when it comes to music um, I like what I like and I don't like what I don't like that that is generally the opinion that I take on music um, usually like people have a set genre or a set type of music they they like but that's not really the case for me like I'll judge it on a song by song basis the closest thing that I come to a genre of music that I like, uh, the two genres are, uh, well, three genres. There's classical. I generally like most classical music. Um, I like chill step. And I like nightcore or lightcore. <laughs> lightcore is basically Christian nightcore. So, yeah. Um, I like uh, those genres of music generally. But, like, those genres of music encompass quite a wide range of different types of music as well. So, yeah. Generally, I judge it on a song by song basis. What what music I like and what uh, I don't. I know most people d tend to stick to a genre of music uh, for a long time. Like, strangely, when I was growing up in school, I didn't like music at all. Like, most kids when they're in school, they have like a playlist that they have that they uh, start founding and um, and they get uh, music together based on that and. They have an artist that they they really really like, and I remember like talking to my friends at school, and they would always talk about, oh, we like this type of music, and we can't believe you don't like music, because <laughs> I I just really didn't. Um, I I've played a few instruments in my life though. Um, I I've played uh, a, a bit of piano. I learned how to play piano for a while. Nothing too fancy, but I can play a basic tune if I can see the sheet music in front of me. I learned guitar as well, a little bit of guitar, so I've got that. <laughs> Same, I need to have the, for guitar, I'm even worse, I need tabs in front of me. So for those of you guitar players who know what I'm talking about, you, you need, I need to see the tabs. I can't just uh, do it by rote. That's a, a bit of a thing with me with music, is that I need to have the music in front of me. There's some people that can just sit down and music comes from them, and it, is, it amazes me. How, how do you do that? You, you are amazing, sir slash madam, if you can do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've never been able to do that. So I guess it was like learning to play those got me a bit more interested in music, but I think like when I started to really enjoy music was when um, I, I left school, and then 
uh, this girl that I fancied made me a CD, a mix CD. And uh, I started to listen to this CD. And there's some really good songs on there. I've still got some of those songs. Uh, but yeah, uh, needless to say, I, the girl and I don't talk anymore. This was like years and years ago. But uh, yeah, that really started to get me interested in music again. Um, compared to how I had no interest in music before that. So it wouldn't be music again. It would just be in music, full stop. So yeah, and then I started to look for songs like that myself. And uh found very different songs. I think, like, Daughtry was one of the bands that was on that CD, thinking back now, and, uh, there was the song One Wing, no, uh, what is it? Angel of Mercy? There was another song that was on there, and, uh, just, like, a whole bunch of different songs, and from a whole diff bunch of different people, and, yeah, it was really, really a good CD, <laughs> thinking back on it. I really appreciate her taste in music, but, um, yeah, so, like, like I say, these days, I tend to go for the chiller music, just just to like relax and catch a breather from the rush of life that generally happens and uh, just uh, relax out but every now and then when I'm feeling in the mood for just like I want to just space out I put on some like rock and just let that thing go into my head <laughs> like hardcore like just <laughs> get the guitar strumming and oh, there was a permit down there let us stop off there and have a look while he's inside. So yeah, uh, just to like jam along with the music if I'm in the mood. I also like some party songs I really like. <laughs> so yeah, I've got quite a weird, wild taste in music indeed. But to let us see what awaits us at the bottom of this pyramid. Um, that should be... That's too far down. Okay, there we go. Please no mobs. Break that. Okay. Well, we'll get TNT out of this, if nothing else. Some emeralds, I won't say no to those. Efficiency 4, I won't say no to that. That is extremely useful. A sweeping edge, that's a relatively rare. I'll take a saddle as well. Um, emerald and some gold. Nothing too fancy. But there is TNT, which is always a bonus of coming into these pyramids, because... You get nine free blocks of TNT, and that is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, that is if I pick the TNT up. I do not need two arrows. Okay. There we go. And let us be wenting back up. Um, over here. Okay. So yeah, we got some pretty awesome stuff. Speaking about awesome stuff, I know uh, Minecraft has this whole note block thing, and uh, Hodag does some amazing musical stuff with it. You guys should check it out. It's really cool. But, um, there's, like, a whole subset of music. Like, I don't know if you guys ever know H.C. Bailey. Uh, he's what got me into making, uh, videos in general <laughs> at first. Uh, when I was really small, I really liked Final Fantasy VIII, so I searched videos for it, uh, on the internet, and I came across his YouTube channel. And, uh, he has... On his YouTube channel, like general let's plays, but he also has this thing for Mario Paint Composer. Now, for those of you that don't know what that is, it's basically a free tool that allows you to make your own compositions. And uh, I think what I'll do is in the background of this video, I'll put like some little tunes that I've made with it. They're, they're nothing fancy. Bear in mind, this this is a tool made for kids, right? To just mess around with. So they're nothing fancy. But they're just some little tunes that I've made in my free time, and I think they sound pretty cool. It's just my personal opinion, but <laughs> for, for a guy that knows, like, zip about music and uh, about composing, I think they, they're some pretty nice tunes. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just put them in the background of this video, and uh, you guys can let me know what you think. Uh, if Should I keep doing it, or should I, I give it up as a bad job? <laughs> yeah, they're very, very short, by the way. They're nothing, like, extremely long or amazing. Um, this is a very strange house, but it's strange how these um, savannah villages often do do that. They uh, form on the side of a hill and then they get super stretched. I like that. It adds a bit of variety and diversity. <laughs> Some people may think, oh, it's a glitch. I don't like anything glitchy. But I like it. I like it a lot. And there is a crevasse. Or what is it, a ravine? <laughs> Which is basically an elongated crevasse. Alrighty, uh, we, as we fly through here, we need to do a bit of a turnaround and a bit of a turner-upper. We have, we went very wonky that last time. We better straighten that out before we continue. Um, so yeah, 
Um, what music do you guys like? I'd be very interested to hear. Like, uh, if you've got any song recommendations for me, any uh, songs you guys have been enjoying lately, and you think, oh, well, uh, well, I think maybe a vice would like to hear it. Put it down in the comments. Let me know. I'm always open to hearing new music. I love getting new music to listen to. I might not love the new music, but I always love the experience of listening to a song for the first time and deciding whether or not I like it. <laughs> I don't know. There's something enjoyable about just hearing something you've never heard before. Very interesting thing about music as well is, um, like, if you think about uh, how many different possible songs there are, like, take the average song length of about 3-4 minutes, and how many sounds are possible within those 3 or 4 minutes, and the combinations of those sounds, and the combinations are staggering, like, it is a finite number of possible songs that there can be, but you wouldn't live long enough to hear all the different types of songs, so I want to experience like a lot of different songs in the lifetime that I have. So that's why I say, new music, if you guys ever have musical recommendations for me and say, oh, I really like this song, let me show it to you, please, please do, because I love hearing new music. <laughs> like I say, uh, I might not like it because I can be quite fussy when it comes to songs, but um, I will enjoy having heard it, if that makes any sense whatsoever to you guys i hope it does <laughs> yeah that's that's that is my talk about music uh in t terms of musical instruments like i said the, the i've played the piano slash keyboard a bit and the, the guitar one musical instrument that i would love to learn how to play is the harp oh my gosh the harp sounds amazing if you get a talented harpist oh it sounds like like heaven's chorus you know it's 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 beautiful 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 so relaxing so soothing i would just love to to hear a harp played in real life for one because that must be quite a thing and also to to um learn how to play it myself hey that would be so cool <laughs> yeah life goals <laughs> but uh yeah that's that's pretty much it and we're coming to the end of the map uh well end of this half of the map at least and i realized that last time we actually forgot to check in our advancement slider here um under adventuring we are now on 25 out of 36 biomes which is a not too shabby hey nice not too shabby at all <laughs> so we we are making progress i hope uh we've still got quite a few biomes to go and quite a few maps to fill to fill our whole map wall so yeah join me next time as we do some building <laughs> as we as we do um we are going to be doing building i have finished the pyramid and we are now going to be going on to building the towers around it so that should be quite fun hope to see you next time as always my name is Athais. good night and god bless bye for now